Hi guys, and welcome back. I'm Tyler, and this is my tabletop. Today we are working on a few of the smaller kits in the TT Combat Rural Village set, produced for Warlord Games. We are starting with kit number 032, so let's get started. So kit 032 starts with uh, these tank traps, and these are super simple two-piece parts. I'm just going to throw a bit of glue on there and put them all together. So in total, we're going to be working on set 032, 034, and 039. Uh, in this video, uh, these are all the, the scatter terrain, I guess. Uh, well, except for the bridge, but overall it's mostly scatter. Uh, so now that we've finished the tank traps, we are moving on to the guard tower. And you can see that I'm actually paying attention and trying to make sure that everything goes together the way I want it. It's a little bit fiddly just because I've got to hold all four sides together while it dries. And there we go. And moving on to step three, putting the uh, I guess the roof or, or the floor of the guard tower. And now we are putting on the walls of the actual tower itself. And we're going to watch me screw this up. Yep, there we go. Turn it around. That's better. Okay. So it's got its three walls. Now we put the roof on. And, of course, uh, because it's a roof, it's giving me a little bit of grief, and I yanked it off of the floor that it was sitting on. So that I could actually put some force behind it. And there's that. Okay. So now we're on step six. We're putting the uh, ladder together, which... Of course, I'm doing off camera, a little off camera. And step seven, glue it to The guard tower. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we've got a little gatehouse. Which super simple compared to some of the other buildings we put together. A 
if I can get it to go into the floor the way I want it to. Okay, and and now we put the roof on, which let's see if I struggle with this one. Not too bad. And... Hey, didn't struggle too much. So now we're putting together the uh, bar the road barrier. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, we're in step eleven. And we're going to not glue the little rod to the walls so that you can actually raise and lower the gate. And then just the last little piece to hold it together. And that'll be it for kit 032. And so we're going to move on to 034. All right, for 034 we are building the bridge, which You can see that I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding if the two parts of the wall need to be completely flush or if the uh, the top bits of the brickwork, if they need to line up or not. Um, I think I wound up deciding that they don't have to be perfect. Um, I certainly decided that with the wall sections uh, later on because there were actually not enough of each type. Uh, so there was no way to make it line up. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit of a struggle because the um, this is basically tongue and groove nightmare. Um, the tongue and grooves of the two wall pieces that I just glued together have to line up perfectly so that the roadway fits through them, um, which is not super easy. Um, here you can see I started to put this on and then I realized, oh wait, uh, if I don't put the rest of the roadway on first, I'm never going to be able to get it in. There's that one. And the uh, tongue and grooves not lining up perfectly thing, that is one of those part problems that is completely solved by using PVA instead of freaking super glue. Um, so don't be like me. Use white glue. And you can see I'm Struggling with this because, of course, I am I'm starting to get it. Hey, there we go. Ta da! Okay, so we have gone on to step three at this point. Uh, we're gonna put the little uh, gribblies on, and mostly what these gribblies on the side do are hiding the tongue and groove of the road bridge, the roadway. Um, not these two particular pieces, but the ones we start putting on in step four, which you will see in just a second. Yeah. It's pretty much entirely exists to hide the construction. Uh, 
And they go together quick. And that's one. Flip it over. And if you're a little more careful, you can make it line up a little bit better than I did, but I not super concerned about being off by a mill here or there. I don't think anybody's really going to notice too much. I really don't like this bottle of glue. So the green cap of this particular brand means that it's gel and it's just, it gets clogged the way that I like drag it across the model and stuff. I wind up getting it clogged more easily. Okay, so anyway, now we are on to step six where we're putting together the walls. And here's another one of those. Uh, super glue is the use of super glue is biting me um, because each of these is two wall pieces uh, whose tongue and grooves need to line up perfectly so that they fit in the uh, base. And if they don't, it doesn't work. Uh, and then there's some little griblies that go on all of these walls. Which I will put on some of them before I uh, move on. Whereas a bunch of them are going to get put on just at the end because I have a whole pile of them. And of course I'm doing this off camera because I'm not super good at this. And we're actually going to speed through the rest of this wall setup because it's frankly just kind of boring. Uh, this is where I I had a little bit of a problem with trying to decide if the two parts had to line up perfectly in terms of uh, they, they're all the same size, or all of the ones that are the same size, they fit together right, but the top part, um, where the bricks actually are exposed, uh, I had to decide if they needed to line up perfectly or not. And then I kind of had to make that decision. The decision got made for me because there weren't enough to do it perfectly. I don't know if that was intended that way. The instructions show that they are supposed to line up. The top of the bricks are supposed to line up perfectly, but that is not possible with the kit I had, unless I was just completely missing something. You can see I'm adding a few more griblies to use them up. And slowing back down, we are starting on uh, kit 039, which is the market stalls. Um, and step one is, uh, so the first few steps, we're putting together these two actual market stalls, and then we'll put together some of the other little things, but uh, they're a little fiddly. They don't have floors to kind of support them. So until you get the roof on, uh, there's no big flat piece that everything attaches to. Actually, even with the roof, there's not. Um, so you can see they're a little wiggly. But they do go together eventually.
and see that I probably did that in the wrong order. Just because you usually don't have to shift and bend things to make them fit if you're doing them in the correct order. And on this kit, uh, you don't get a whole lot of guidance. Uh, this other... So, the instructions are for that first stall. Um, there were not instructions for the second stall. Um, now, having just built one, uh, they weren't that difficult to figure out. Uh, also, having put together so many of these kits, uh, there are some uh, parts that are similar, like this little awning. Uh, it was really obvious to me where it went, because I've put awnings on stuff in these kits before. Uh, and then we have the wagon, which has no instructions whatsoever. Uh, now, it's only a couple of pieces, so it's not that difficult. Um, although I did have a little bit of trouble with the wheels. Uh, I had a square peg round hole issue with the wheels, um, which I guess I could have solved by actually doing some work on the wheels, or the axles, uh, instead of doing what I did, which was just gluing them straight on, because uh, I was being lazy. Once again, um, I'm not too overly concerned about it. Uh, it looks fine on my table. Uh, that was me pointing out that the hole on the second wheel was actually almost big enough to fit onto the axle, whereas the first one, you could not fit it on the axle. Uh, I don't know why that is, but... Anyway, we're wrapping up now. Uh, just giving it a little bit, a few seconds to dry, without... Uh, yeah, without breaking it. And that's all of the small kits for this set. And here you can see we have loaded up my turntable. Uh, so that is it for this video. Uh, I've been Tyler. This has been my tabletop. Uh, if you liked it, please like it, share it, subscribe it, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon.